The adventure story begins with a tour guide showing some people around an old mansion, charging them money. The tour guide tells everyone that a very famous king used to live in this place. But one day, the king found all his servants dead inside the palace. Only the king's daughter was alive. Later, the king found out that none of the servants killed them, but it was his own daughter who killed them. To punish her for this act, the king locked her in a room forever. Even after 1,000 years have passed, voices can still be heard coming from that room. When the tour guide was telling everyone about this, the candle placed in front suddenly fell on its own. All these things make tourists very scared, and they start feeling that perhaps the soul of the king's daughter is still alive. After explaining everything to all the tourists and taking money from them, the tour guide returns to the mansion. Later, it is revealed that dropping the candle was the tour guide's plan all along. He used this tactic to fool tourists and take money from them. But suddenly, paranormal activities start happening in front of the guide. The door of that mysterious room suddenly starts opening on its own. And now some unknown thing is grabbing the guide and pulling him inside the house. Despite trying hard to save himself, the guide cannot get out of the house. And now, that paranormal thing has caught the guide and locked him inside the house forever. Now we turn to another side, where a professor named Erin is introduced. Despite Erin's talent, her relatives always belittle her. Although Erin worked as a professor at a university, she was still searching for a much better job. Now, Erin was preparing for her presentation on stage, when a senior professor from the university came to her and tried to say something. The professor told Aaron that the fictional book she had written was very impressive, but Aaron was shocked because she hadn't written any such book. The professor even showed Aaron that famous book with Aaron's photo on it. Aaron is completely shocked to see that book because she and her friend Abby had written it together many years ago. Inside this book were imaginary and fictional stories of Aaron and Abby. But Aaron and Abby had decided never to publish this book. However, the professor was telling Aaron that now this book has started selling online. Aaron was also very excited to see all these things. What was surprising was that everyone liked this book very much. To find out about all these things as soon as possible, Aaron reached her friend Abby. Abby had turned her house into an experimental house. In that house, she used to do various experiments with her assistant, Julia. After meeting Abby, Aaron started asking her all the questions. Abby was trying to make Aaron understand that all the things we imagined in childhood might now come true. We just need to find her. And that's why Abby and Julia had made gadgets together so that they could see the ghost because seeing ghosts was just their childhood imagination. When Aaron tells Abby and Julia about a haunted mansion, they become very happy and start moving towards that mansion. Abby had to prove all her childhood imaginative things real to Aaron. Aaron is also now behind Julia and Abby, who were meeting the tour guide, who didn't want to go to that mansion because some paranormal thing had attacked him last night. Now, even unwillingly, they had to go behind Julia and Abby were walking inside the mansion, carrying their weirdly made gadgets. Meanwhile, Julia was recording everything with her camera, but Aaron thought all these things were nonsense. Even after wandering around the haunted mansion for a long time, they didn't find anything. Then suddenly, Abby's gadget starts spinning rapidly on its own. As soon as all three turn back to see, the basement door opens, and the king's daughter was coming out, who had become a very dangerous ghost. The king's daughter was now spewing green color from her mouth. Julia was continuously recording all this as evidence, but now that ghost ran out and disappeared somewhere. Abby and Julia were very happy that they finally got to see a ghost. Aaron had uploaded the entire video footage online, but many audiences believed that all these things were scripted. When Aaron's senior professors found out about this video, they thought Aaron had gone completely mad. And now because of these incidents, Aaron was fired from her job. Now Aaron had no option other than to go back with Julia and Abby. However, Aaron was getting angry with both of them. But Abby believed that if there is a ghost present, then many other unique things like that could also be present. Therefore, Abby and Julia had to advance all their gadgets and create a big space. Therefore, they needed funding. But even after asking for funding from everywhere for their research, all three of them only faced disappointment. No one was ready to invest in their paranormal activity research. Now, we are shown a man named Roman at the railway station. 
Roman was talking to a female officer named Patty, who was present at the station. Roman was telling Patty that the world was going to end soon, so she could do good things in her last moments. Saying this, Roman immediately left from there. Patty couldn't understand all these things properly. She started following Roman with the help of CCTV cameras. Roman directly went onto the railway track, where a train was about to come within a few moments. Patty tried to help Roman by going to the railway track, but shortly after, Roman hid in a corner. Patty suddenly felt something strange near the railway track. Immediately, a very dangerous ghost appears in front of Patty. Upon seeing the ghost, Roman seemed to be inexplicably happy. But Patty, overcome with fear, fled from the scene. Now we learn about Roman, who used to work as a waiter in a restaurant. However, Roman also had a small research lab where he researched about ghosts. Roman also believed that entities like ghosts exist in our world, and there needs to be a way to bring them into the human world. Roman had thought about various ways to bring many ghosts into his world. Now Aaron, Abby, and Julia were constantly trying to find a large place where they could advance their experiments and open a company that researched paranormal activities. Due to budget constraints, after much difficulty, they finally managed to get a small room. For now, all three of them were very happy because they had finally found a place for their experiments. Now Abby decides to hire someone for their small experiments. After a little search, they find a man named Kevin. We know that Kevin might not be the smartest person, but we know who Kevin really is. Aaron and Abby had already started advertising their paranormal activities company. So within a short time, they had their first customer. It was not someone else, but it was Patty who was informing Abby and Aaron about the paranormal activity happening on their railway track. Patty had clearly stated that she had seen a dangerous ghost on the railway track. To find out more, Aaron and Abby, along with their entire team, head to the railway track. Soon enough, they see the same dangerous ghost in front of them. The ghost looked very terrifying. Julia handed Aaron a gadget specially made to catch the ghost, which Aaron immediately activated and started using it on the ghost. This gadget emitted electromagnetic radiation which controlled ghosts. Now, with the help of that gadget, the ghost was under their control, but soon a train was coming, and seeing the opportunity, the ghost fled. Nevertheless, Julia, Abby, and Aaron got more information about these ghosts. Based on that, they started upgrading their gadgets. Now Patty approached them and expressed her childhood dream of seeing ghosts and experimenting on them. So Patty joined their group. Patty also offered her car for transporting their gadgets quickly from one place to another, which made Aaron's team very happy. Now, where Roman was leading them, some ghosts attacked the people around his house. One ghost even possessed a nearby woman. But Roman never informed them about these incidents. When Roman entered his house, many ghosts were captured inside mirrors. Roman used to capture different types of ghosts and research on them. Meanwhile, Julia and Abby continued to upgrade all their gadgets because they knew they might encounter even more dangerous ghosts in the future. However, the entire world had come to know about these four individuals. Critics accused them of seeking fame by using paranormal activities as an excuse, suggesting that it was all scripted and there were no real ghosts. However, Aaron, Abby, and their team paid no attention to this news and focused on their work. Now, a new customer, who was a hotel manager, approached them. He informed them of paranormal activities felt in the rooms of his hotel. So, Abby, Aaron, and their entire team went to the hotel wearing new costumes. After entering the room with paranormal activity, a statue started following them. Patty, running away, joined them, but the statue, with no sign of life, approached them in a terrifying manner. The four ladies lined up and began firing their boosters directly at the statue, which grabbed it directly and attacked, causing the ghost inside to emerge. It was a flying, dangerous dragon ghost, which flew directly to where a big concert was happening. While everyone was enjoying themselves, their lives were about to change drastically. Suddenly, all the people there witnessed a ghost for the first time. Although the flying dragon ghost had caught Patty, Aaron and Julia kept firing at it with their gadgets continuously. Eventually, they managed to control it and sealed it inside a jar. 
This entire incident was witnessed by everyone present there. As a result, all four ladies received a lot of praise. Now, many people started believing in Abby and Aaron's paranormal activities and ghost stories. Surprisingly, the same critic who had labeled everything as fake ended up witnessing this incident himself. The critic simply says, convince me whether ghosts exist or not. Show me some proof. Aaron explains that it would be impossible to catch the flying ghost if they open the jar. However, Abby wants the whole world to know the truth, including those critics who stood against them. Eventually, when they open the jar, the flying dangerous ghost emerges and pushes the critic out of the window. The ghost disappears forever, but due to the critic's fall, the situation turns quite dire. Many people gather there, and soon, two men from the mayor's office arrive and take Aaron and Abby's team with them. The mayor accuses them of solving paranormal activities only for publicity. Aaron gets extremely angry with the mayor because they risk their lives to help people, but instead of appreciation, they face complaints. The mayor doesn't want them to get more attention as it would diminish his value in the city. Therefore, he threatens to send them to jail if they don't stop their work immediately. Despite the mayor's threats, the four of them decide to keep their work secret. However, the mayor's assistant reveals to the media and reporters that the four girls were only staging paranormal activities and that it was just a publicity stunt. Aaron and Abby don't care about these accusations and continue with their mission. Abby takes out a map of the city and starts planning their next move. After some research, they realize that a restaurant in the city has been experiencing paranormal activities. They understand that all the ghosts are gathered inside that restaurant, and if they all come together, a lot of energy could be generated, possibly opening a portal to another universe. Aaron and Abby's team understand that they must stop all the ghosts at that place. They start making a foolproof plan, but as soon as they enter a chamber, they encounter Roman. Roman was trying to convince them not to proceed with their plan. He had created a machine with the help of everyone's ideas, which would open a portal to another universe. Aaron and Abby understand that if the portal to the other universe opens, all the evil spirits and ghosts will enter our world. They plead with Roman not to do it, but Roman, laughing, gives himself an electric shock and dies on the spot. Finally, why did Roman do this? No one knows. Aaron and Abby found their old book there, which contained imaginary and fictional stories, but what the connection between the book and Roman was had become a mystery. Now all the police officers are going there, who had caught Aaron and Abby's entire team. The mayor's assistant was saying that you all have been arrested for lying because the mayor himself wanted to take credit for all these things. Aaron and Abby's entire team had to return empty-handed. A random guy with a mobile was making a video of Aaron, saying that you are the one who is lying about the ghost. Aaron got very angry with this, so she immediately punched the man in the nose. But the next day, this news is on the front page of the news, meaning Aaron has become unsuccessful along with being completely defamed. In anger, Aaron tells her friends that we should always leave this job because everyone misunderstands us and goes against us. The whole team was very disappointed. Aaron, coming into the room, was reading her same book, which she had found at Roman's place. But after a while, she sees something written on the pages in a strange way, which no one else had written but Roman. After reading it properly, Aaron knows all about the planning. In fact, Roman wanted to open the portal of the souls of the other world, so he had taken a bad way to know about it so that after death, he could become a dangerous ghost. But maybe it was too late now. When Abby went to the bathroom, she saw a strange thing. Something was coming out of the wash basin. This was a very dangerous spirit of Roman, which had now entered Abby's body. After some time, green-colored liquid started coming out of Abby's body parts. Aaron was calling them all to tell the truth, but no one was answering. Patty and Julia were waiting for Abby, who had been locked in the bathroom for a long time. But when Abby came out, her behavior had changed a lot. She started breaking all the gadgets with an iron rod. Julia tried hard to stop Abby, but as Roman's spirit was present in Abby's body, she grabbed Julia by the throat and tried to throw her out of the window. Just before doing so, Patty intervened and saved Julia directly. Inside, Roman's spirit had completely twisted its head, making Patty realize that there was a bad spirit inside. Patty pulled Abby and gave her a strong slap, 
causing Roman's spirit to leave her body. But Roman's spirit went down and entered Kevin's body, and no one knew about it yet. Aaron had sensed the danger, so she went directly to the mayor and told him everything. But the mayor still didn't believe Aaron. Aaron kept insisting that the whole city should be evacuated because there are very dangerous spirits and ghosts coming here. But the mayor's people were taking Aaron's words as a joke. Meanwhile, Roman's spirit, which was now present in Kevin's body, activated the machine in his room, causing all the ghosts and spirits trapped inside the mirror to be released and wander there freely. Due to the combination of their energies, a portal to the other world opened there. And now, as they watched, many evil spirits and ghosts were set free inside the city. Patty, Abby, and Julia immediately grabbed their gadgets to go out and kill those ghosts. But now these dangerous ghosts had spread throughout the entire city, causing harm to people. Roman had filled Abby's entire team with big balloons filled with souls to end them. But Patty, Abby, and Julia kept fighting with those ghosts continuously with the help of their gadgets. However, Patty, Abby, and Julia were constantly fighting with those ghosts with the help of their gadgets. After a while, Aaron also arrived there to help, but now so much energy had been generated due to those spirits that the portal started opening underground. Kevin, who had Roman spirit in his body, appeared in front of everyone and stopped them with his black magic. Among them, no one was able to move from their place. Aaron and Abby's team approached Kevin and asked Roman spirit to leave Kevin's body. But the evil spirit of Roman was saying that Kevin's body is very powerful and I will never leave it. But Patty made Roman a little angry that without Kevin's body, nothing would happen. So now Roman's spirit, in anger, left Kevin's body and started converting into a very big demon. Abby and Aaron started running from there after saving Kevin. With the help of black powers, Roman began to convert into a giant of white color. The monster's size was so large that it could destroy each building in a single blow. Now Abby and Aaron put a little thought into it that if they could turn off their booster's power, then if they were to fight inside the portal due to reverse fire, the portal could be closed. Despite combining the powers of their weapons, Aaron realized that it wasn't enough. She then noticed her car, which had nuclear bombs on it. Aaron immediately told her companions that if they detonate the nuclear bomb along with their booster's power inside the portal, the portal could be completely destroyed. Everyone found Aaron's plan quite good, so they gathered their car with the nuclear bomb and blasted it inside the portal. This method started to be successful within a short time because the power of reverse energy was too much, causing the portal to close. Roman's evil spirit was now becoming weaker, but before returning to the big portal, he grabbed Abby. Aaron didn't want her dear friend to die like this, so she tied a rope around her waist and jumped directly into the portal. Roman's spirit had held Abby tightly, so Aaron kept firing continuously on his hands until Abby was freed. Roman's giant spirit entered the portal, and after that, Aaron immediately caught Abby and brought her out of the portal. As soon as the portal closed, all the destruction that had occurred was fixed. Even after everything returned to normal, the mayor kept saying to everyone that it was just a publicity stunt, meaning that there was no such thing as ghosts. But all the people who were present there during the big event had already seen reality. If Aaron, Abby, Patty, and Julia weren't there, the whole world would have ended. And the four were sitting in the restaurant, deciding that they would never leave each other no matter how difficult things got. They would face all challenges together as a team. And with this, our story ends here.